Hello YouTube, this is Night Hunter playing Tower Defense. In this video I will go over what I think is the best pathway to upgrade the fetch ability of the Guardian. This will be a technical video where I explain the math behind why I think this is the best way. So if you do what the old guy from Diablo 1 said. Stay a while and listen. I think this will be worth your while. This simplified equation shows so much loot or fetches we have per hour game time when we only include the cooldown and the fine chance, not the double fine chance, but one we will include later. So in this example, this is an hour consists of 3600 seconds and if the cooldown is 90 seconds, we take these two, then multiply that by the probability, the chance to find a fetch, let's say the chance is 20%, then we will get 40 times 0 0.2 equals 8. In other words, 8 loot or 8 fetches per hour. This is a spreadsheet showing the cooldown upgrades where you can see each step, the cooldown time, what each step costs and the total costs. In other words, how many bits you have spent to reach this step. So if you do not include the double fine chance, you get by default 3.0 loot per hour and here you can see how much the loot is per hour after you have spent X amount of bits. So for instance, if you get the cooldown down from 120 seconds down to 100 seconds, that costs you 462 bits and the loot increases from 3.0 to 3.6 loot per hour. I have done the same thing for fine chance, as you can see here, and also for the double fine chance. But here, when you include the double fine chance, the base loot increases from 3.0 to 3.6 loot per hour. This is a spreadsheet showing a 200 step upgrade pathway which is organized and optimized to increase the maximum amount of loot per hour. So if you follow these steps, start by two times double fine chance, then cooldown, then fine chance, etc. This one will be optimized when you exclude the synergy effect. This spreadsheet is a 200 step upgrade pathway when the synergy effect is included. The synergy effect means that sometimes if you upgrade, for instance, double fine chance, and at some point you should upgrade cooldown to optimize the loot per hour, then later you should add the fine chance to increase the most loot per hour at the fewest amount of steps. The problem with this pathway that it will become quite pricey quite fast. As you can see here, at step 25 it already costs 7, 1750 bits. This spreadsheet is a 200 step upgrade pathway where I have excluded the synergy effect. By doing that you will have to switch between double fine chance and cooldown and fine chance more often, but it is not as pricey as the other pathway. Let's see here, step 20 costs 645 bits. But then the loot per hour will be 8.4. If 
for the synergy effect pathway at step 20 it costs 1150 but the loop per hour will be 9.6 this spreadsheet is a mix between the previous two so it is not as expensive as the first one but a bit more effective than the other one This is the final spreadsheet where you can see all three pathways, the synergy pathway, the non-synergy pathway and the budget pathway compared next to each other. As you can see the synergy pathway, the loot per hour increases more rapidly, but so does the costs. The good thing about this spreadsheet is that it's easier to see which pathway you, cho you should choose depending on your economy. So let's say you want to spend a thousand bits upgrading the fetch. You see in the syn synergy pathway, thousand bits gets you to step 19 and a loot per hour of 9.3, while the non synergy pathway get you to around step 27 and 9.96 while the budget pathway gets you to step 35 and 11 loots per hour so I will leave this one here in the description so you can take this spreadsheet or if you want to take a print screen go ahead then you can use this one to plan your upgrading strategy for your fetch thank you all for watching this video and I hope that you have learned something if you guys have any comments please let me know in the comments and also please like and subscribe to these videos thank you guys for watching I'm sorry this was a long video, have a nice evening.